Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Edgerson 32K Car Talk. It's been a long time since I've actually uh, recorded a video, um, mostly because I've been really busy with work and uh, you know it's hard to balance everything. But I'm glad to be back, and I have a lot of updates for everybody. Um, but first off, I just wanted to thank everybody for subscribing to my channel um, and watching my stuff, and I hope you guys are actually learning something from it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I always try to do my best to, you know, bring whatever I know to the community. And uh, it's nice to kind of like get in touch with everybody and kind of messaging everybody back and forth between either email, uh, email or, or private messages, direct messages. Um, you know, it's nice to always like have the mentality to give back. So, you know, I think that's what I'm trying to do. And yeah, as far as my... Uh, car situation goes um, I actually bought a couple of parts for uh, my TSX and my S2000 um, we'll start off with the S2000 uh, so I had the Nvidia Q300 exhaust installed on my car for a little over two years now and I mean my initial impressions were I actually liked it a lot uh, it sounds nice um, you know like I love the tone but it was slightly a little bit loud for my taste and I think it got louder once it broke in um, I know there's a lot of reviews out there that people have it on their car and they like it there's no drone um, it's quiet only when you're cruising but when you get on it it's really loud and I think all that is true but I think it comes down to like personal preference um, you know whether you want to live with that loudness or, or you want to actually um, maybe have something a little more quieter and I think I wanted something a little bit more quieter um, so you guys know on my RSX I have the Tanabi Medallion Touring and I love the way that sounded because it's just slightly louder than stock it's not super loud and I think that's that would be what I would like my S1000 to sound like so I bought a, um, a Tanabi Medallion as awesome as well for the S2000 it actually just shipped this morning so I'll probably be getting that and uh, probably doing that sometime this Saturday. Uh, so I'll definitely give you guys feedback and record some sound footages of that. And as far as my old exhaust, I'm probably going to sell that probably really cheap because, you know, I'm probably not ever going to use that again. Somebody out there is probably going to uh, get a really good deal. I think I got it for new for about $600, so I'm probably going to list it for probably like two, two fifty dollars around there. Uh, hopefully local uh, local pickup not shipped um, yeah so we'll definitely uh, look forward to that so that's the latest for the s2000 other than that uh, nothing major um, I've been po uh, pondering the fact uh, of doing the ap2 front-end conversion for a long time and you know I, I guess it's something on the horizon that I probably want to visit now that tax season is said and done with you know, you have a little bit more change on the side to kind of spend um, <clears throat> but uh, we'll definitely uh, look into that I don't know if I, I want to do the the CR lip in the front or if I want to keep it OEM and just do the front end the AP2 front end and the OEM lip by AP2 meaning uh, 2004 or higher S2000s it's just a, the chassis uh, abbreviation so any of you guys out there that don't know what that means that's what I'm referring to I think the front end's a little bit more refined and it looks a little bit nicer than the the OEM uh, AP1 which the which is the 1999 model up to the 2003 um, yeah as for the S2000 goes and on to the TSX um, TSX has been a great car you know I've have never had any issues I changed the rotors and the pads out I don't know if you guys watched my last video but um, everything went well I got a phone call early, uh, earlier so I got cut off but yeah I was talking about the TSX and the brakes um, the rotors and the pads broke in really well um, didn't have any problems there and uh, surprisingly the it has a lot of bite on them and you know I had a little bit more stopping power compared to the old pads which were kind of worn um, I did buy a cabin filter and a replacement uh, I think it's a spectrum dropping in filter it's one of those like ones where you don't really have to change it for a long time and when, when you do you just have to buy that recharging kit and just clean it up I think Canon also makes them but I bought it like a knockoff of uh, Amazon it's just a lot cheaper than Canon and probably gonna be installing that on my uh, 
TSX over the weekend. Nothing much. Um, I did buy some Amsoil MTF, the manual uh, transmission fluid by Amsoil for my TSX. I'm going to probably do that probably, if not this weekend, probably the next one as well. Um, and I did buy some uh, Super 8 Type 200 brake fluid. Probably going to do that on my TSX as well. Um, and that's about it. Um, I do have breaking news on the RSX and I'm not going to do that in this video but I will do a separate video for that and I'll dedicate it just for that car and I know many guys will be sad but um, you know it's one of the, the decisions that I wanted to make going into 2016 both financially and also um, just kind of analyzing my situation and you know my garage situation and, and my overall driving situation so but yeah, I'll do that for an, uh, in another, uh, another video, so you guys will definitely be chimed in on that one. And uh, yeah, I mean, all in all, like you know, I'm I'm kind of happy to be back into things. Um, made some changes on my website, uh, so you guys can check it out. Thanks again for everybody that's subscribing. I really appreciate it, and for everybody that's taking time to message me. Um, you know, I try to be one of those those uh, people on YouTube where if you guys respond to, to me I'm definitely gonna reply and just you know not half-ass a reply you know I'll take my time and put some thought into it and give you guys like a, a, a really good uh, some feedback and my opinions on what I think or whatever you guys are asking me and uh, for those of you guys out there that are uh, you know hating on me or hating on the channel hey thanks to you too you know because without haters you know you never know you'll never have that motivation or that drive to keep on going and I'm a pretty positive and optimistic kind of guy so I don't really get down or you know negative comments don't really bother me <laughs> so uh, yeah I mean you know as long as you you have a head, your head up on your shoulders and you you bring something positive into the community you know like there's definitely more people out there that are going to be appreciative so any guys out there that are you know having your own channel and are experiencing like negative uh, negativity you know, just keep going, keep going, you know. It takes a lot more courage to keep going and bring more more light at the end of the tunnel than just to kind of like chicken out and back down, so. All right, guys, yeah, that's a quick update on everything. Um, uh, you know, once I start doing things to my TSX and S2000, I'm definitely going to have uh, DIYs on the S2000 exhaust install and also the TSX air filter, cabin filter. Oh, I did buy spark plugs for my TSX, so we'll be doing those too. Um, but yeah, stay tuned, uh, lots of more good footage coming, um, thanks again, and uh, I hope you guys are going to have a great week, uh, it's getting hotter now in SoCal, so, you know, make sure you guys put on that sunscreen lotion, and bring your hat if you're going to go outdoors, and, uh, if you have a car that you love, just drive it, man, I mean, now it's like a perfect time, the weather is nice, I might be doing a, take off my hard top and go convertible for a little bit too, so, I'll keep you guys posted, and, uh, have a great day and uh, stay happy, man. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.